listeners because yeah, yeah. i never like listen to our podcast just audio mm-hmm. i've done it a couple times but i never like listen to the whole thing yeah but there's some episode i think back on it would have no context or like you have to see what we're saying yeah. in the video for for you to understand yeah or you're gonna think i'm like weird uh loki like podcasts are meant for like audio only but i feel like the way that we talk it's it's you can't it has just to be listen video to it. yeah you can't just listen on audio because we do like like, yeah, you know? that's what I'm saying. Because my voice can only show so much. Yeah. But my body language says so much more. Exactly, you know I mean? exactly. There is, um, I don't know if you've seen uh, that girl that did a podcast with Drake. Oh, a Bobby? Yeah, Bobby yeah. Althoff or something. Super funny, fam. I have a theory. What? Crazy. Who is she? I don't know. That's the thing. Yeah. So check this out. Theory right now. Uh, she's an industry plant, fam. It's not mm. even a theory. Loki is true. Yeah. My theory is she's like an actress, mm. some big network saw potential in creating a show just like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if you if you take a look at it, um, what's very similar? You know, chicken, chicken shop date. Let's oh, talk about yeah, yeah, yeah. very similar vibe, right? Mm-hmm. Who's another big female, I guess, creator? You can say very similar to like the Emma Chamberlain effect. Yeah, yeah. You know how it's like very calm, very just real, raw, mm-hmm. almost awkward. Yeah, yeah. That's her character, though. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Low key, it's just all planned. It's just all like, you're going to play this part of a person. Mm-hmm. We're going to invest in you. Bring on the biggest guest possible. Yeah. Boom. It's meant to explode, meant to go viral. Yeah, real Every shit, cause, episode. Because look, look what she had. She had Drake. I don't know how she got Drake, but right after that, she had Yachty. Lil Yachty. And no, and before that, she had like... Uh, uh, Marco. Marco, yeah. the, the big comedian. I, I swear, like, I was reading comments and like... I think she is a comedian. Is I, she? Yeah, because I, I don't know if you've heard the other girl comedian. It's the Asian one. That one that was on uh, Under the Influence, where she has that awkward little tone to her. It's like, um, Who is it? I don't it's know. not Aquafina, right? No, definitely not Aquafina. I don't know Ooh. why I say Aquafina, but it's like some other like some other Asian girl. And she's like, hey, guys. um, Like, it's very like awkward tone. Mm. And like uh, back to the theory where you said FaZe Rug is making more boring content. Now maybe That's what I'm saying. the whole podcast game is y'all. like the whole I podcast told, game is like hey man I up? told y'all look I'm I'm telling you right now there's gonna be there's gonna be a change of everything and we're just gonna want to watch like boring shit. A lot. Now it's just like our conversations, no more theories. Just like yo, what you do? Today? Nah, this is gonna be the same. This is gonna be the same. <laughs> but doesn't mean like you wouldn't take part in like other yeah, content yeah, that's yeah. kind of more chill. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I think. I think the reason that is, is just because we're so, it, it's dead after we're just overstimulated. Yeah. And we have more fun kind of in calm settings mm-hmm. because we're not usually in them. Uh, I don't know because it's like, okay, say you went, you went to Hawaii, right? Mm-hmm. When you came back to Toronto, it felt like home though, right? Like you, you were. What do you mean? What do you mean? Because like us, oh, you said um, you you were in more uh, chill situations, mm-hmm. but like this right here, the city. I love the city. I was ready to come home. Learn. Like, Alberta's straight mountains and shit. But day four, everyone's like, "Yo, I'm trying to go back to the city." I'm not gonna lie. Word. Yeah, it's like that. Did you I have don't that in know. Hawaii? Cause in Hawaii, see, see to me, yeah. And this is gonna sound corny as fuck. Okay. But to me, home is where family is. Yeah, no. That's so nice. does so if I'm with my family on that trip, because I was with my family on that yeah. trip, I could have stayed there forever. To be honest, really? Yeah. No, it's so crazy to think. I feel like. Even if my family was out there, but I was born here for so long, mm. I don't think I would stay in Alberta if my family was there. Hawaii, well, Oahu is kind of different because yeah. it is kind of city. Okay. There, there was like sprinkles of Toronto in there. Feel me? Really? Even the food is very kind of like Toronto esque. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it didn't feel, it didn't feel too far off. <laughs> yeah. Like I could actually live there and like feel no ways. Like yeah. it's literally kind of like the same as home. Facts. But I think the moment you have homesick isn't necessarily. I think the homesickness is uh-huh. because of the people you love, rather than like. Mm. The settings, because I feel yeah. like you can always put yourself into settings, even if you put on like a headset mm-hmm. or even if you just put on music or whatever, yeah. you can put yourself in a setting, but you can't kind of replicate the connection and love you feel with somebody. Mm, that is true. Because literally the, the only thing, when the first thing that, that I said when I got off the plane, mm. I was like, yo, the air smells polluted. But I love it. <laughs> it's like, Word. It's like, because Alberta it was so, it's so fresh. Yeah, so fresh. Mm, but Hawaii's like, like that too. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Hawaii's you like that. Tell. You, you can, can tell. <laughs> you can tell. And then and then I, I always wonder now, mm. like, how bad is our health going to be because just living in a city Facts. like that? Facts. Because I know New York 
you could have like respiratory issues if if you stay there too long with pollution. Yeah. I know China is a big one, mm -hmm. and I'm just wondering like how much how much different would your life be, or even just like your energy yeah. and your overall well being, mm -hmm. if you're in a in your a place where it's like just fresh yeah. and the environment is healthy. Mm -hmm. Forget you yourself, but the environment is healthy. Will that force you to become healthy too? I know, and you know what's crazy? It's like those cities that like have the good air and stuff mm. not a lot of people that's like a tourist spot a yeah. lot of people are in the cities with all pollution and stuff like that so it's like damn man. it's crazy how cities are still like yeah, tourist women. spots though yeah. like people really want to come out here for some I reason know, I know, I don't but know. i i think it's the grass is always greener on the other side yeah, thing you never know and i always say like i still say this is they are mm. my hometown my home city mm. has the greenest grass in the world oh toronto no. Oh, thank Yeah. But uh, I, st I still say to this day, fam, I still say my neighborhood, uh, greenest grass in the world. I don't know, still man. To this day. I, went to, I went to Alberta. I pretty had a lot of grass, man. But I think I think it's it's my own, like, um, I guess, <laughs> perception. Yes, yeah, my bias on it, bro. Like, no matter what, it's going to be greener there. Bro, I remember I went to your, I went to the, the street one time just to drop you off, and yeah. there was 12 cops there, man. So it's like, <laughs> yo. It's not bad. No, but it's so crazy because it's like, that's like the hood part of where we were from, and the grass is super green. <laughs> <laughs> it's like there's hella nature there, but like you'll see twelve cop cars. Because everything street. grows there, bro. Everything grows. Business grows. Feel me? <laughs> everything grows. Crying. The brain grows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. <laughs> and honestly, I think it takes like um theory right now. Mm. I feel like the darkest, deepest depths of the world are like yeah. the places that have the most, I guess, um things going wrong. Yeah. Come out with the best stories. Come out with the best stories. Mm, I don't Cause know. I feel, hear me out. Yeah. The stories we always hear of like, let's say people living in luxury. Yeah. Like you heard one and then all of them sound the same, mm -hmm. but a story that sounds of hardship oh, or sounds of like terror, horror, whatever it may be. Yeah. It's always the most amazing stories. And it usually comes from like a dark place. No real shit. Because it's like when I was, uh, when we were traveling too. Uh, all my friends were like scared to do stuff like go up on the gondola or like or and we had this uh we have we rented this one car right yeah we were supposed to get a nice one but we ended up with like a sh the shittiest like dodge caravan like the tires were breaking down like it needed an oil change and stuff oh shit and we, were, we were riding through the mountains right but that's the story that we'll remember like we're not gonna remember that nice. I'm imagining it broke down, That's what I mean. like, <laughs> and you have to push that shit up. Oh my I, goodness! I was telling the guys like, if, if this broke down, yeah, always stay positive because we're gonna remember this, <laughs> rather than oh, we were just driving through the mountains, uh, like nothing went wrong. <laughs> you feel me? Because I was I was hanging with JB, yeah, and then his boy had a Lambo. Uh. It was so funny. <laughs> He was running out of gas. What? And it was pouring rain. Uh, and he was running out of gas and he had to make a turn. Oh, right? Fuck. But it was traffic. Yeah. So JB looks over me. He's like, yo, ma imagine we have to push a Lambo in the <laughs> rain. <laughs> the, see, you're going to remember that. But, but the story would be crazy. Yeah, <laughs> All men hop out and push the Lambo in the rain. That's crazy. Take it, take it. There was another story uh, that uh, that happened in Alberta too. So you know that like that big gondola? Yeah, that goes up and like you can see all the views mm. and like like it goes all the way to the top. It's like seven C and towers, I think, right? Shit, that's yeah. that's all. Yeah. The fuck? So, so there was an option to go in a closed one, yeah, or one of those ski lift ones, right? Mm -hmm. And and uh, I think Cherin was scared of uh, like uh, heights and stuff, so he would he wanted to go on the closed one. Oh yeah, but I we all said we all one. said for the story. We have to go up on the ski lift. Fuck one. that story, so, bro. <laughs> so taken, we went right. This it's three and three. three yeah, guys and three guys. So we went, and on the middle, mm -hmm. the gondola stopped. Oh, that's because, crazy! Because the wind was too crazy. Oh, so shit. imagine Charon's regretting his decision because because <laughs> last minute he changed. Oh, the gondola was going Yo, like this. Yo, that's <laughs> fucked. Wait, how many people could you fit on the gondola? Three. So it was could you three. could you fit another? Yeah, Loki. Oh shit! Oh shit! You ready, fam? Me and Josh were supposed to go on the trip. We had a feeling. Nah, don't go. Don't yeah. go. What if four me and Josh four? made it just heavy enough? <laughs> we made that shit just heavy enough, bro. Yo, but taking that's not the only thing that happened. Why? So, what happened? So we went up, right? And it yeah. was, we were still going up. And we saw a, a bear <laughs> with a, with its cubs with right? cocaine. No, no, no. no, no. So we saw a bear with his cubs, right? Yeah. And that's when it stopped. 
We were mm. underneath the bear. So BG starts throwing shit at the bear. Oh, why the fuck? And taking, provoking it? Yeah, so the provoking it. And you know, like, the, when the mother sees, like, someone attacking his cubs? Yeah. It's going to start going after you, right? So the cubs start climbing the oh, tree. Oh, shit. That that's we were crazy. <laughs> and just when it climbed the tree, the gondola started that's moving. That's crazy. So the, the, cub, the cubs can jump too, eh? Yeah. They can probably get up to that's you, That's what fam. I'm saying. That's so fucked. <laughs> so that's what happened. We almost died, fam. <laughs> Damn. But imagine you guys were there, man. Yeah, it would have been. I don't know. Yeah. Certain and, and you know this. Mm-hmm. I always trust my gut now. Yeah. If something is feels a little bit off, I'm gonna I'm listen to it. I'm gonna yeah. listen to it. I mean, nothing went wrong, so you know, maybe yeah. I was wrong, but <laughs> I guess, I guess. <laughs> but the thing is, like, no, recently, fam, just just like the story I just oh, told yeah. you. I have I have senses of like there's blessings that way like I'll, I should go this way because there's blessings towards there yeah yeah so for a long time yeah. so for people that don't know I'm actually I'm actually um working on a short film oh yeah and I'm using my computer a lot mm-hmm. and I notice like my neck is always hurting because I'm because I use a, a laptop mm-hmm. I don't really have a good monitor yeah. so I asked Robin before I'm like yo I need a monitor but specifically a monitor with a headphone jack. Mm. And it's hard to find that now because yeah. a lot is uh, Bluetooth connected and usually like there's no headphone jack anymore. Like, yeah, you just yeah. Bluetooth, whatever. So yesterday, just last night, mm-hmm. I went to go throw out the garbage. Yeah. I went downstairs and what do I see? A nice ass Big. gaming monitor, like shit, exactly the size I wanted. Yeah. And then I even called Robin, I'm like, yo, Look at this, fam. Like, I found this. He's like, yo, isn't that, is that 32 inch? That's exactly the inch you, you asked me for. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, fam. And it gave me two. So I went downstairs and I found two monitors. And there's the other one was um another Asus monitor. Bag this. In the morning, my sister asked me, oh, since I'm going to be editing more for the short film, Holy can you buy me a, a monitor? Yeah. No, that's how too, the fuck? That's too coincidental, fam. It's like, because it's like, God knows you're, you you need it for <laughs> for a bigger purpose. Yeah. So he's going to plant it. Yeah, and it was you just there. I mean? I'm like, whoa. No, some coincidences are, are too crazy. Yeah, man. like every single every single time I, I see things in a, in that light, like, yeah. shit, it's, it's a coincidence and you're blessed with something. Mm-hmm. Don't just think of it as, oh, wow, it, what a coincidence, yeah. blah, blah, blah. No, nah, fam. A lot of the times, like... Those are put in your path for a reason, and mm-hmm. you're supposed to take advantage of those. Because yeah. a lot of times we think, "Oh, my life isn't special." Yo, we can make your life special. Just, just yeah. think it's special, right? Oh, mindset, bro. I um my my mom she told me a story. Yeah, yeah. Just recently, this isn't related to that story. Yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah, say yeah. it, but because I was just thinking about it. Mm-hmm. Once upon a time, there was like this um there's this Indian prince or no Indian king actually. Okay, and he was. I think he was in London, London, England. Yeah. One day he went to, you know, the Rolls Royce, like manufacturing company. Okay. That's the one with the stars in the roof, right? Yeah. Rolls Royce, the yeah, car, Rolls-Royce. super luxury car mm-hmm. goes in and asks to test drive a Rolls Royce. Okay. But the Indian King, obviously in England at the time, this was like early. I want, I want to say like 1920s, Damn. 30, something like that. Okay. Now they didn't want to let him test drive it. Why? Because they're racist, you know, oh, this and that. Okay, okay. He looked like a bum in their eyes. Mm. Now, also, he wasn't wearing his nice clothes, like the the king uniform, this and that. Like, he wasn't yeah, wearing good bummy, clothes. So. He looking kind of bummy. Yeah, yeah. So they said, no, we can't give you a test drive. Mm. The next day, what did he do? What did he do? He went ahead, wore all of his, like, king crown, everything, all his nice clothes. He went inside for him. And he told the owner, buy me seven Rolls Royces. I'm going to get it. Yeah. I'm sending it to India. Okay. And I'm making them the street cleaners. Whoa. Like pretty much the garbage trucks of what India. What the fam. fuck? So he was so petty. Yeah. He turned the Rolls Royce to ruin the brand wow. into the street cleaners of India. Damn. So he bought seven Rolls Royces. He bought seven of them, turned them into like the garbage trucks. And, and when he was um, he was dressed bummy, he got disrespected, right? Yeah. So no, he got finessed. 
Bro got finesse. How? Because that's like the sales tactic. Like you treat mans like shit, so they come in and buy seven Rolls Royces. No, but that's also <laughs> just racism too, because yeah. they're just racist, man. Yeah. But if, I was like, look, if you look at the flip side, low key got finesse. But at the same time, kind of. But at yeah. the same time, it, it ruined the brand for quite a while. Yeah. Because then people would say, "Oh, you want a Rolls Royce? That's those, are, those, those are the street cleaners yeah. in India. Oh. You, you want to buy a garbage truck in India? What are you that's, talking about? That's the garbage truck. Exactly. Imagine, yeah. right? Yeah. But I think I think it's like the pettiness in him mm -hmm. got like a great story out of it, you know? Yeah, for sure. Like the first thing like um I did when I got my Jeep, I drove around all the people like I hated in the neighborhood <laughs> and blasted the music and hopefully they were there. But they weren't there. <laughs> so that was God telling me like, ah nah, you should probably just stay humble. <laughs> just stay humble, yeah, right? You know what I mean? What do you what do you want to get out of like doing things like that though? I don't know, like uh Like specifically. I feel like in the moment, like I would be mad, like satisfied and like, damn, like look how far I came. Like you were talking shit about this and like mm -hmm. I have this moment of like Damn, I, I did that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's definitely for yourself yeah, rather for, than for, like, for, yeah. yeah, rather than everybody else. Exactly. If you got like your um your clap back or your get back yeah. in a different way, like let's say, um, let's say it wasn't necessarily them, but another person shows appreciation towards something that you achieve. Mm -hmm. Does that equal the same respect or I guess lack of respect somebody else didn't give you? Or Wait. do you need it specifically from that person that I guess did you wrong no, or whatever? I, I, I think it has to be direct. Because mm. it's like, with, there's a storyline and then I move and I move and I move and I continue the storyline and then at the end of the story, it comes back to that person. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, it has to be direct. There's no way that I'll feel happiness with an indirect person, you know? Word. You know what I mean? So like, it's like a personal thing? like. Yeah, it's so you hold like a grudge to somebody like, nah, you gotta, you gotta respect me one day. Well, yeah, like now I don't, but it's like just so having those moments, like mm -hmm. sometimes I, I fiend for it. You know? Cause I think about it now is like, what if yeah. you're supposed to get your get back, but it doesn't have to be that person. It just has to be. You know what I mean? What if it's like, you don't have to get your respect from that and fuck that person. Why do you want the respect anyway? Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. But somebody else shows you love is yeah. just as equal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it, it makes up for the, the respect or like the the love you didn't get yeah. from someone, okay. someone there. You got it from yeah. someone that really cares. Mm -hmm. But you know? now it's like, I, I think like sometimes I don't want to get, like I don't want to burn bridges because it's like maybe that person that I drove through the neighborhood will help me in the future. You know what I mean? But then he won't, he won't help me no more because I did what I did, you know? Word. So it's like sometimes I always think about karma. It's like karma mm. always comes around. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I, I see that. Like I, I never want to do somebody dirty no more. Yeah. I feel like in my opinion, yo, I just had this freaking like, uh, like epiphany last night. What happened? So check this out. If you really take it in, uh -huh. there's good things and bad things we can do in life. Mm -hmm. What if we just always did good? Yeah. And why don't we? No, because like because if you, you think said it was a balance though, like no, I don't think it would would balance. That no, no, no. I mean with choices. Oh, with choices. Like obviously there's scenarios and things that come in your path that you can't fucking, mm. you can't do, you can't like change. Yeah. But the things that you can, you can choose to do good or bad, right? Yeah. yeah. Now we all ask for what? We all ask for a good life. Mm. So why don't we do good? Yeah. No, because it's like you're tempted so much by like evil to do those things. Cause obviously like f when you, when you have emotions that's brought up by like what, what you think is perceived. And a lot of people can get straight and like, and get mixed up in like what is good and what is bad. Mm -hmm. So maybe that revenge shit is actually good for some people because they don't know what's, what's good or bad. You know what I mean? Mm. That's I don't know. Yeah, like, I, don't know. I feel like people just don't, um, just don't realize it yet. Yeah. You know, I think that's what it is. Mm -hmm. But recently, cause I'm always on like, I want to have a purpose. Yeah. So it's kind of like the same analogy, but if you think about it, if I want a purposeful life, yeah, that means like everything I do must have purpose, mm. right? Like every, every single second or every single minute. And even if it means like relaxing, like that's, that's a purpose. So, so going back to coincidences, do you think anything in your life was coincidence or no? No. No, it always had a purpose. Yeah, well, I think it, I think of it that way, but uh -huh. not everybody should, I guess. I don't yeah, know, or maybe true. maybe maybe it's it's good to think that way, but I don't know. Every everybody has their own like yeah. life, and I don't want to say shit because your mom died. Like that's a that's a coincidence, blah blah. That's yeah. fucked. Like no Co coincidences mix me up because it's like you don't remember that Katie Yup thing. It's like mm. when she was like tapping like the the muck banger that was uh supposedly kidnapped. Yeah, and she was tapping on the glass. I don't know if that was a coincidence and shit like that. So it's like. There, there was also a theory 
that um uh back in 2020, yeah. Howie Mandel was actually uh, being kidnapped. Do you remember that? Nah. So I don't know if you remember, but everyone on TikTok, yeah, thought that he was being kidnapped because he was posting like these weird pictures and these weird videos. Like he would post a picture like randomly under the bed, like going like what this. The fuck? Yeah. <laughs> And then uh, no, he's a comedian. No, no, though. but the, at the same time, it's like, is this a coincidence? Because when he started making videos, yeah. people were like, "Is he trying to tell us something?" Mm. So, so people commented, everyone, if you're in danger, wear the color purple. The next video, he wore oh, purple. Oh shit! And obviously, so it's like a cry for help. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so it's like, is that a coincidence? So it's like, uh, a lot of people did um, stuff that was less obvious. They're mm. like, okay, if you're in trouble. Throw up a peace sign, and then he fam he did peace signs. So it's like, what is what is true and what is not? So, and I'm gonna show you this video. Yeah, I want to see if you think this is um uh like he, he was doing this on purpose because this is the weirdest one. Okay, I, I want to see if you see the hidden messages. Hi everybody, Howie Mandel here. Creativity in just under a minute. Just take a regular shopping bag, and all you need is a pencil. And a pair of scissors. See, why would he post this? This is so random. And you clip the two corners. What's he doing? Side, Arts and crafts. And that side. For some, for no reason. And you just take the, the, the pencil. Look, he's shaking. Front, I write shoe. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, ready? Peep, peep the hidden message. Yeah, well, what's he writing then? Then, I don't know, can you see it? It says shoe stuff. Shoe stuff. Shoe stuff. So randomly, he posts, he posts a picture of arts and crafts. Yeah. So look, if you if you see it, S O S. He made the triangle. He was like shoe stuff. Oh. He, he made the thing. And look, and look, the shoe on the S is a five and a five. When you dial five five, you call the police, and it's like, and they ask you, are you being kidnapped right now? Nah, that's crazy. Why would he do that? Is that a coincidence? That's or not? fucked. <clears throat> see. But bro is a comedian too, that's so we don't know what's true, fam. But why would he post himself cutting out a thing and writing something? That's so random. I don't know. But bro, like, why are you going through all the all the work to make all these subliminal messages? <laughs> you have a phone in your hand. Dumbass, bro. You have a phone in your hand and you're making TikTok. That's what Call somebody. <laughs> that's actually facts, though. But you never know. Maybe it's like, the fo- if he picks up the phone to call someone, the guy that's kidnapping was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? You know? We don't know. Yeah, yeah. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but it could also be that's the problem with especially creator or entertainers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because they're entertainers now. Mm-hmm. Where's the line of real life and what they're doing to entertain? Facts. Right? Mm-hmm. It got so bad that people were like, remember that one time where we're obviously known for theories? Mm-hmm. Like people will obviously flip our lives into a theory based life now. So yeah. they're like, oh, look at the back. Something's happening in the back of the shit. Like, no, man, that's not happening. <laughs> nah, no, that shit don't happen no I will die. <laughs> shit don't affect me no more. <laughs> nah, but. It's it's dope because uh, that's our whole that's our whole brand yeah. is is making theories off of shit that looks like coincidences, yeah, yeah, yeah. or at least that's just that's just how we think. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Mm-hmm. And I think it's fun to think like that, yeah. but you shouldn't take it too serious <laughs> because if you if you think of it too seriously, then like it's never ending. Yeah, yeah. Then you think like a dust on the floor means yo you're gonna make a million dollars tomorrow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you could make a theory about anything; it will sound real. Yeah. Just the way you express it, you express yeah. Facts. Do you do you get disrespected when like they call you a different name or like they call you a uh, uh, like no jumper? People call me jo- no jumper all the time. <laughs> I know because I get pissed off. It's like uh, then they'll, they'll say yo no jumper and then ask you for a picture. I'm like wait, wait. <laughs> I know, but it does sound similar. Like, I don't blame them. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean, <laughs> that just that's just a, a clear show sign of like oh maybe you have to brand better. Yeah, exactly. That's I was it. I was so prideful because usually the way it is is like they call me Carlos. Yeah. <laughs> they never say go up to Carlos say are you Gavin? Yeah. And yeah, the yeah. one time it happened, I was actually like I was crying. <laughs> like damn. <laughs> you are you Gavin? <laughs> <laughs> because I think. I think in our content we don't really say our names as much. We don't. We don't. Have we don't. An intro. We don't have an intro like that. Yeah. But I don't know. Like, do you want to change things like that? No, no. Because I think I, I was honored when um when at the, I remember we uh, interviewed Bart, Joe, and, and Tim. Yeah. At the end of the podcast, they're like, "Yo, bro, we don't even know when you started. <laughs> like, we thought it was a conversation the whole time." Yeah, that's what it is, is supposed. To, yeah. It's supposed to be that. It's just supposed to be like look at Joe Rogan's podcast. Yeah. 
The reason he's number one yeah. is because it's that that's just a just a Combo conversation. Fam. It's not it's not necessarily like I'm interviewing you. He yeah. has questions. He has like things he wants to talk you about. Learn something. Yeah, and you learn every time. Yeah, you should. Jorug is the goat, fam. Yeah, fam. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be doing a podcast right now, to be crazy. honest. Yeah. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looked fun at first. They probably threw in a free phone, but now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big time wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text and data just for $15 a month. And you guys know nowadays how much wireless bills are increasing. So imagine how much you guys can save with Mint Mobile. So Mint Mobile is here to rescue you with premium wireless plans for just 15 bucks a month. Say bye-bye to your big wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. This big wireless with Mint Mobile's limited time deal and get premium wireless service for just 15 bucks a month. So to get your new unlimited wireless plan for just $15 a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash jumpers. J-U-M-P-E-R-S. That's mintmobile.com slash jumpers. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash jumpers. And if it wasn't for like Gary V and all these other people I used to watch, wouldn't be doing this shit, bro. Yeah, I know. I forgot that you you looked up the Gary V. That's such a like. That's a, a big one for me. Yeah, that is a big it's one. It's a huge one, but I don't know. This guy's kind of like ghost right now. I haven't <laughs> yeah. seen his content in a while. A lie, bro. Step up the marketing, fam. No, like maybe, maybe that's a hint. It's like maybe he's off social media doing his own thing. You know. It's, I think he's still making content. He's just oh, not getting on my for you page. It's, a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's not shit. I'm not saying it's shit. It's just it's not it's not popping up in the algorithm. Yeah, bro, just fell off. <laughs> nah, that's not what I'm saying. That's not what I'm saying, Gary V. Yeah, yeah. that's not all what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah. recently. Mm. I've been, cause just how just how I did with podcasting, mm -hmm. I really take part in the podcast. So I watch a lot of podcasts. Yeah, you no, know, I kind of see like how hosts communicate, mm. good ways to fluctuate your voice and speak. Yeah, and that's what maybe a good podcast host, right? Mm -hmm. Now, since I'm working on a short film. What do I do? You have to look at how people direct and stuff. Yeah, I have to watch movies and shit. Study film. That's study, study film, film, yeah. And that's what I've been doing. And I low-key been doing it, like, subconsciously, because oh, I just yeah. always watch film. How, what, like, what do you mean? I just always watch. Oh, yeah, I yeah. just always watch movies, and I always, like, break it down in that way. Mm. Like, I'm always, like, making theories about it. Yeah. So it's, like, a perfect match. I'm, like, super excited. Yeah, like, yeah. damn, here Facts. we go. Right? When did you have this vision of, like, creating this shit? Was it, like, because obviously creating a movie, you don't just think about, you just don't wake up and, like, oh, I'm going to make a movie. Yeah. But was it like that, Loki? No, 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 no. I always had, like, okay. plans. Yeah. So, in my phone, I have a notes app. Mm. And, like, in the shower, in the car ride, whatever I'm, I'm, I'm doing, right? Yeah. Like, I have a, a random idea for a scene. Yeah. Or even just, like, a, almost a coincidence or, like, a, even if it's, like, a speech mm. or a, a verb they're saying whatever they say right mm -hmm. even a name and i just put it all into this database of my notes for future film ideas yeah yeah so I, what i did i'm like fuck each one of these could be its own separate film even like scenarios and shit yeah why don't i just put it all together let's see what happens fam i noticed that because like uh, sometimes when we're at Denny's and like we're having a conversation, Carlos will be like, "Yo, I'm I'm turning that into a uh, <laughs> short story," and he'll write it in his notes. So <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, don't if, ask. If you if someone hacks Carlos' phone and goes on his notes, yo, fam, like, billion dollar <laughs> ideas are on my phone. I swear to God, billion dollar ideas are on my phone, bro. <laughs> yeah, fam. Like nobody try to hack me, but yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying. No, because I noticed with the guys too is like we we all slept in like the same bedroom, mm -hmm. and like when we took our each other's phones, we wouldn't even go to like the Instagram. We would go straight to the notes. Like what what what's like what's on the notes? Yeah, well, like what's your <laughs> That's true a deep self. shit. That's yeah, a that's deep your shit. true like. So you may be depressed, yeah, and, and you might type your your thoughts in a note, fam. I just pop it up right now. No, 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 no. Why? Because <laughs> my notes are kind of weird. Are they? <laughs> yeah. I, I want to see what you would see. Let me let me just open okay. it. I'll, I'll read. I'll read. Okay, I have a schedule. Stuff. I have obviously like the the shit I'm working on. Yeah. I don't know if I wrote any like specific emotional shit in no, here. No, I've always yeah. Look, look. You wrote. Emotional shit? Yeah, look, look. Okay, so you want me to read this? This is kind of weird. Fuck. I go. So May 23rd, 2023, I said, I've always worked 
work best when I have something to prove. For the longest period of time, nothing was really motivating me. Every Everything was proven already. They started talking again, so I feel like I'm back. I love when they talk. Shit puts me in another mode. Exactly why I got revenge iced out and I wear it around my neck. Those who go against me never win. I thought people would have figured it out. God and Nana watching me from above, I can never lose. Mm. And this, you know when I wrote this? When? When mans were roasting me about the math shit. Word. Yeah, because they were talking, like, they were dissing me and stuff like that. But yeah, I, said, yeah. I said, God and Nana are watching me, nothing, I can't lose. Mm. So, you have a lot of, like, uh, I guess, personal... Per- yeah, like, feelings. Personal feelings, you just you just stress out on, yeah, on yeah, there yeah. and then just write it out. <laughs> yeah. So, instead of, like, journaling, you just put in the notes. Put, yeah, technically. Mm. Yeah. Read your I weirdest, used to, though. I want to no, see your weirdest. No, because I have a journal. Okay. So, I, I don't really have no thing in here. Yeah. Like... Oh, let's see. I don't let's think there's see. nothing weird. These are just like tattoo ideas for him, to be oh, honest. <laughs> let's see. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, like none of this stuff is, is even personal. Uh-huh. I'm, try- I'm trying to find a personal one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let me it's really the one that's tatted on me, but I know that God put you in front of me. That's the only that, thing that's in my totally that's one? personal. Damn, yeah, bro. I thought you would have some like like personal shit. Too, nah, like, that's in my that's in my, my journal, but my journal is <laughs> mad narcissistic. Like, man doesn't want to read that, bro. Really? Man doesn't want to read that. Like, <laughs> like man's what... Everybody's gonna fail. Feel me? <laughs> like everybody's gonna get insecure if they read my journal, bro. That's fucked. That's fucked. It's, <laughs> that like, no, it's, like, it's like you know how Drake in a song like this is you like subconsciously, and yeah. you're, like, you're like, damn, that does that relate to me? Is he talking about me? Is that what it is? No, it's like it. it it's literally just like my view on the world. <laughs> Fuck, I wouldn't want to read that. Imagine on shrooms, like you're reading Carlos and Dope, like holy shit. <laughs> nah, but like maybe I'll just publish it one day. Fuck it. It's it's mad narcissistic though. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah? it's like it's like shit that that. Remember when I said like, there's certain things I don't want to say on the podcast because yeah. I don't want to be perceived that way. Mm. And it's it's for the purpose of like, would you really want to listen to somebody that sounds like they don't listen to you? Mm-hmm. See now, imagine if Kanye had a journal like that. Because do you feel like? Uh, in cele- like when you get up in the ranks, mm. like to stay humble, because as a celebrity, you need to be a narcissistic. Like it needs to be about you, right? Do you think you can get it off by um by writing it like pr- in your own private time? That's how you stay humble, because you're you're at the same time you're being narcissistic, but nobody knows about it. So do you think celebrities like that, the the humble ones, write it in a journal or do something else to be, you know? Because mm. I, I feel like nobody's like. S- like humble, humble, you know, like there's still this type of feeling where like, oh yeah, I like to brag sometimes. Anybody, anybody I interact with, I never, I never like be narcissistic with them. Yeah, of course. Like anybody I interact with, never. Yeah. Like it, it's usually just internal. Yeah. But I think, I think it's just, what a journal is necessarily is just like your internalization, ex- externalizing. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not really um writing, writing what what you want to say it's like it's what's already there mm. and you're just showing what's there yeah that's how i see it though it's like um how uh drunk thoughts uh, or drunk saying is like sober thoughts no uh, oh yeah 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 like yeah, that yeah like that. what's the what's the term there's another term for that shit i don't know um no uh <laughs> like thoughts um thoughts you're not supposed to have what's that what's that term oh um fuck fuck it's on you know what i'm talking about yeah i know exactly what you're the, 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 the thoughts that you're not supposed to have and then intrusive thoughts and that's exactly that, yeah, what it intrusive. is intrusive thoughts <laughs> that's exactly what it is yeah, yeah. but you just put it out and then because it's because intru- do you think intrusive thoughts are still truth because you thought 100%. of it you know I think that's the most truth mm. when you have an intrusive thought yeah so I think no but also nah nah, 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 nah I, disagree, I disagree I disagree 100% I disagree I disagree I disagree no no because I just thought of my intrusive <laughs> thoughts like some shit is not valid. It's just How? like, I just thought of it. Nah, intrusive the- <laughs> thoughts are not, nah, nah, relax. No, intrusive thoughts are because say like, uh, uh, you see a guy walking and your intrusive thought starts roasting the guy. That's valid. Like, nah, I have different <laughs> intrusive thoughts. <laughs> of, intrusive? I don't know, bro. I don't know, fam. That's not my intrusive thoughts. That's all yeah. I'm saying. <laughs> nah, <laughs> someone needs to scan your brain, bro. That's not what I'm saying, bro. Bro's trying to get me in a Rico right now, man. Wow. <laughs> Nah, like it. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. God. Let, let's move on to a story I have okay. to say. <laughs> bro's gonna give me your allegations, bro. No, I don't even know what you're thinking about, bro. But yeah, tell me a story. All right. bro. Shit. Okay. Um. Oh, you know the the 824 film that's coming out. Oh yeah, I saw about that. Yeah. The the Raka Raka one. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be like the scariest. Yeah. Most gory. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I have a question for you, actually. Mm-hmm. If you had a, if you had a chance, like with a genie giving you three wishes, would you take it? Probably. <laughs> but what would you wish for? Wish for my family was healthy. Mm-hmm. All my friends and family were is are rich. Yeah. And probably last one. I don't know. I would probably that's that's my two wishes. All right. So what if I told you? Mm-hmm. Because you're guaranteed what the wishes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'd probably ask for the last one to be for more wishes. Now, what if I told you, sure, you get those wishes, those wishes mm-hmm. and they, they're granted. Yeah. But what if they grant things that take it back? Now, think about it this way. Mm-hmm. What if you become a millionaire, sure, or you get money, blah, 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 and that's what you wish for. Mm-hmm. But it means something else that happens in your life that takes away from your life. Mm, so it's like, I asked for a million dollars, but I die at like 24, yeah. some shit like that. Mm-hmm. Fuck. You asked for your family to be healthy, but all your friends Are dead. get sick. Fuck, man. Damn. So would you still take the wish? Hell no. Probably but, not. But, but do I know that? If I didn't know yeah. that, I would still take it. You know what I mean? Now, when you wish for something, yeah, I feel like it's a, it's like a sense of we think it's always good. Mm. But as we know, some things are always too good to be, to be, true, yeah, to be yeah. true. Now, there's this story. You ever heard of a monkey paw? No. Monkey pox? Or monkey, monkey paw. paw. Like a monkey oh, paw. Oh, isn't that something lucky? Or something? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's this thing called a monkey paw. Mm-hmm. And pretty much it's, it's like a, a hand of a monkey yeah. that will grant you wishes. Oh, shit. So what's crazy, this is what the A24 film is about. Mm-hmm. And Jordan... Jordan Peele, yeah. he's a, uh, his studio is actually called Monkey Paw Studios. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. But I looked into it and the mythology around it is fucked, bro. What happened? So the original story of the Monkey Paw uh-huh. was pretty much this father and a son. Mm-hmm. They're playing chess one day, right? Yeah. And they're waiting for his friend to come over. And his friend, he's a general. Okay. And he was away traveling doing war this was back at, i want to say early 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 times not not anything modern okay okay but the general comes over and he talks to the father about what he's seen uh-huh. and he talks to him about this trinket that he brought with him and which is the monkey paw Holy now what he told him was this monkey paw it came from an indian like witch doctor oh, fuck. so pretty much what happened before the general yeah. got his hands on the monkey paw he knew another i think a sergeant mm. was he's the one that got it from the witch doctor yeah. and the last thing that the sergeant wished for with the monkey paw what was it was death itself huh he wished for death he wished for death <laughs> now reverse psychology no bro so if you think about it whatever he wished for you know what i mean it made him kill himself after yeah Check this out. So he said, you can wish for something. I already used all my last wishes. So it's, it's next for somebody else to use. Mm-hmm. But if you wish for something, something else might happen that you didn't see coming. Mm. So like, oh, so it was like all good, but he didn't want to test his luck. So he's like, fuck it. I'm gonna just, just kill myself. No, something else happened to the general. I mean, to the, to the sergeant. But anyways, yeah. um, the father takes the, the monkey paw now. Uh-huh. And he looks at it and he, he asks around the room like, man, what should I, what should I ask for? <laughs> should I ask, hmm. And then the son goes, yo, ask for money. <laughs> so the guy goes, the dad he goes, I wish for 200,000 pounds. Like okay. this is, this, he's in the UK. Okay, okay. And the monkey pot goes like this. Yeah, so there's like three, there's like three, he goes, and then he drops the monkey paw on the floor yeah. and everybody in the room is like, yo, why'd you, why'd you drop it? Uh-huh. Like it moved in my hand and nobody believed him. Holy nobody shit. believed him. Yeah. Now what happened the next day, mm. they're wondering, man, was that shit even real? Like where's the 200,000 coming from? Right. Blah, 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 blah. His son, he's about to leave the house. They're having breakfast. He's like, oh, I'm about to go to work. Like he works at like a mill, you know, the, yeah, yeah. The wheat and shit. Uh-huh. Like I buy son, and they're chilling. Like they're talking. Yo, how how are we gonna get this two hundred thousand dollars? And then 
They get a knock on the door. What the fuck? It's some guy. No way. They get a knock on the door and opens up. It's two men. Okay. And they're wearing suits. They have like fedora hats uh-huh. and glasses. And they pretty much say, we need to talk to the parents of, and they say the son's name. Oh, shit. The son, he fell in the mill no. of, of the grain and killed himself because he accidentally slipped. Now, because it's the company's fault, quote unquote, they're going to compensate Yo. them. And he gave the father a check. 200K. The father looked at the check. Dog. And he dropped to the floor and fucking started crying. And the mother's like screaming and shit. Yeah. And it says 200,000 pounds. Oh, nah. Now, I guess even scarier, bro. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. So they end up depressed and like, Obviously. shit, we, we pretty much traded my son for money. Yeah, yeah. And for weeks, I want to say like two weeks, they were crying and like just depressed. They didn't know what to do. Mm-hmm. One day, the father and the, the mother, they were just sleeping on the bed. And she gets up, like, super excited, like, yo, I have an idea. Mm. And she says to the, to the father, where's the monkey paw? I, I know what to do. So she grabs the monkey paw. The father's like, oh, it's in the cupboard. Grabs the monkey paw. Yeah. And she said, I'm going to wish for him back. <laughs> yo. <laughs> and then went, <laughs> no. But she gives it to the father to make the wish. Okay, okay. Because he has two more, feel me? Mm. The father takes it and, like, he's, he feels kind of hesitant. But the mother's like, no, nah, we have to, we have really have to, you know what I mean? He's gone. Like, yeah, yeah. they can't live anymore. So he wishes for his, son back. for his son back. Now, nothing happens. I think I know what's going to happen. Nothing happens. And then they're just chilling. And all of a sudden, like, they hear, like, a noise at the door. They hear a noise at the door, fam. Uh-huh. And then in the father's head, he's, like, thinking, holy shit. If, this is my if it's a curse, right? Yeah, yeah. It's probably going to mean... His son's going to come back to life, yes. Because that's what he wished for, his son to come back to life. But somebody's going to die. No. But how would he come back to life? Because he was thinking about the last time he saw him dead at the mill was when his body was chopped up into pieces that he couldn't even recognize. Oh, my God, bro. So Don't tell he's, me. Starting, he's starting to think like, shit, I wish, I wish my son back. He's going to come back a monster. He's going to come yeah, back yeah, like yeah. a zombie. He's going to look frightening right uh-huh. so they go towards the noise downstairs the mm-hmm. door and the mother like her he's like oh it's the son it's the son mm-hmm. and like right he's open the lock now the father he starts to feel like super guilty yeah. and he grabs the monkey paw makes a last wish yeah just kill me he just makes a last wish the mother opens the door <laughs> the last thing the father hears is just the mother screaming holy shit man screaming and the monkey paw goes like Chick. <laughs> right yeah. he made his wish uh-huh. when the father comes back downstairs he sees nothing there just the mother screaming in, in terror now what do you think he wished for fuck i actually don't know and it's, it's up to like it's up to everybody to so decide. he wished for his son back and the mother was there and his son wasn't there because he made another wish what the fuck but his mother was screaming in agony right I don't know. I don't know what he wished so, for. So there's obviously like a bunch of theories, but yeah. the first theory is that he wished for the son to rest in peace. Oh, like kill him again? No, pretty much to rest in peace because if he was brought back to life, okay. that means he's, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the mother probably saw him. She pretty much just like traumatized herself yeah. forever. Because he was like chopped up. Yeah. Mm. And shit, she just like, she ended up going insane because yeah. she saw her son come back to life and then now he's gone. Mm. Just poof, gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah crazy oh. wait so was that is that the plot of the new a24 no film? it's not oh, okay that one that was a sick plot yeah but so that, this, this, is real. this is the story this is like i think it's i don't know if it's folklore or, yeah. or based on like a true story no if this was a true story that would be crazy because this is one of those it's literally like one of those um the muffin man type of yeah, shit like, yeah it, it it's low-key based on like true things yeah, yeah. the monkey paw was probably real the general was probably real mm. but who knows about like other stuff maybe yeah. it was it played out in a different way, right? Yeah, yeah. But a lot of that stuff is probably based on, like, true Fuck. true events or true stories that they heard. See, no, I, I was thinking, like, the, the second wish, when he wished for his son back, mm-hmm. I thought that the whole thing was, like, the son will come back, 
but then the mom would die. Like it, it was just like he wouldn't get the 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 pattern, and he would just keep wishing like good shit, and like that shit would happen. Oh, you know what I mean? It's like oh, do then, like wish bad and, and then, good. Yeah, and then like maybe his third wish. Oh, I wish my all my family come back, but then he's the one that dies. I thought that's how it was gonna play out. That would be a crazy plot mm. twist. That's a good movie. Yo, make that into a short film. Mm. <laughs> that's like some Dano shit. Yeah, <laughs> like everybody, everybody, everybody's gone now. <laughs> so anyway. Like, there's some Dano shit for No, real. but that, that's crazy because it's like, damn, maybe like sometimes it could be good, but other times it could be really bad. Because mm. I don't know if you, you heard about the story recently too. It was um four kids that yeah. survived 40 days in like the deadliest uh, jungle, the Amazon rainforest. Nah, I haven't heard and, about this. And this was all because they said a duende helped them. What the fuck? Yeah, so listen. So uh, I think it was, um there was four kids on the plane. Yeah. Uh, a mother and a pilot. Yeah. So they were flying over the, the Amazon uh, rainforest mm. and suddenly the plane crashed into the middle of the whole, the, of the jungle, mm -hmm. right? The four kids survived, mom and pilot dead. Shit. The kids ranged from, I think it was, the, the oldest was 14, mm. nine, four, and there was a one-year-old. Damn. So imagine 40 days, you know what the Amazon rainforest has? Jaguars, spiders, yeah. <laughs> poisonous anything, shit, man. Everything, right? <laughs> so everyone's saying that uh, the search team went out. They they found clues of like um, diapers, baby bottles, but mm. they couldn't find them. So everyone's saying that the even though since they couldn't find them for so long, even though they found clues, yeah, it was like one of the Lord of the Rings type thing where it's like you know in the Lord of the Rings when you put the ring on, you you oh, you get you, you become invisible to everyone. Mm. So that's the theory because it's like the duende took them in, helped them survive these kids in like one of the you know it's deadly. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then as soon as the, like the rescue team came, they he got they got sent off. So they still haven't found them. The gone. No, they, they found them. They oh, found they found them. them. Yeah, after forty days. So that's what they told them the, the one day. Yeah, no, no, that's that's like the theory, because there's no way like everyone believes that these kids are are surviving forty days with no food and shit. You know what I mean? So the mother died. Yeah, mother died. Shit. It was just the kids, bro. But the the grandma also came out and said like that kind of uh, busted the theory open, where it's like uh, the fourteen year old was part of a tribe, and since a little uh, kid. They're used to surviving, oh, surviving in and the wilderness. Water and stuff oh. like that. But still, 40 days is kind of crazy, though. That's a long time. So I, I believe the Duende shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think, do you think if, if you were lost, like in the wilderness, you would start to hallucinate and then like create characters and stuff? <laughs> yeah. Bro, when we were in, uh, when we were taking a hike, mm. I think um, Charon said something like, yo, I hear our name. That's wrong. And, and, and that's when Brandon said, no, that's just, um, what do you call those? Um, uh, when, when the, uh, you don't, you're not supposed to listen to them or something. Fuck. I talk about them all the time. Oh, Skinwalker. So, oh, Skinwalker. Yeah. So Brandon was like, oh no, he said it so calmly. Oh no, that's just a Skinwalker. I was like, what? Wait, 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 wait. You guys were on a mountain, right? Yeah. We were on a mountain away from everyone. And all you hear is Sharon. Yo, check this out, fam. What? So there's this ongoing I think it's a conspiracy or yeah. if it's just a phenomenon. Uh -huh. But if there's two people climbing a mountain, uh -huh. I know you weren't with two people, but yeah, we were six. Two people climbing a mountain. There's this phenomenon called the third climber. What the fuck? You heard about this? God, so, so a lot of climbers that go with like a duo, mm. they climb a mountain or they go on a, a huge trek. Yeah. And they come across another climber mm. that guides them and tells them how to complete it. But the moment they complete it, they can't find him. Oh, like a random person? Like a random person. <laughs> Loki? No, never mind. Cause Loki, we saw like a bunch of people, they would say hi to us randomly, mm -hmm. but I think that's just can Canada. They're like, just saying hi, yeah, they're saying yeah, yeah. what's up, bro, they're nice. <laughs> that's what I was saying. But there was, two, there was two, like, there was a couple beside us and they took some next short route mm -hmm. and we, we couldn't find them on the hike, except we found them at the top. Oh shit! So it's kind of weird, but, but so they like, like teleported. No, but Loki, we were like, yo, they just went on the sidewalk to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the whole theory. But that's kind of crazy. Yeah, it's, that's that's a real thing actually. Like, yeah. like people, a lot of there's a lot of cases. Like, Google it. The third, the third hiker. Yeah. It's either the third hiker or the third climber phenomenon. Cause fam, you're up it's in fuck. nowhere. You're up nowhere. It's like 
you don't know if that's a ghost or a thing because um the Andrew Dawson thing mm-hmm. uh, he saw like a tall figure in the mountain mm-hmm. I don't know if I was tripping or I was losing sleep but when like the whole thing was mountains and I swear at the top people are gonna obviously call me crazy or yeah thing, yeah but like I swear I saw something very tall <laughs> I don't know I don't know man and if you're watching this government I, I swear I didn't see it so it's just BG fam yeah, <laughs> I was just tall guys. It's tall uh, guys. No, <laughs> no, but yeah, fam. I, I don't know. Yeah. I think I think I think what it is ends up becoming is like you're you're in a mode of survival, yeah. and you just I guess hallucinate somebody to encourage you to finish it, yeah. or it could just be like a spirit, yeah, that of somebody that passed away on their hike. That's what I'm saying. Like that ass is a spirit lost on yeah. the on the travel. And I'm wondering like, if you go to Mount Everest, you know how many people died in Mount Everest? Yeah, how bro. many people actually died in Mount Everest? It must be a lot, right? Mm-hmm. Look, let's see. How many deaths at Mount Everest? At least like 30, right? Yeah. 310 people that died climbing haunted. Mount Everest. That shit is definitely haunted. 310? That's a lot, fam. Yeah. Take in, like, um, uh, there was this glacier we went to too, right? Mm-hmm. And you're not, there's like a little thing, a gate, where you're not supposed to pass, yeah, right, and everyone decides to go up the glacier. You're and uh, there was uh, th- rumors that I mean, not not rumors, but it was true story where the people walking up the glacier without like a line mm. or like one of those sticks, they slide down the glacier and die, right? Mm. So I didn't go on it, but Brandon, uh, Charon, and Mick went, and they had to cross a river, right? And the river to cross it, there was like three like really thick sticks, right? And they crossed it, but uh, there was like these these group of people that started fucking around with like the thing, and they started dancing oh, on it shit. and taking like underneath. I thought it was super shallow. Yeah. Right. And this is water next to a glacier, so you know it's cold as fuck. Yeah. So one guy does like like he he goes in like uh, all fours and he tips over. Oh fuck! And, and Eric has it on video where the guy. Luckily, there was hella people there yeah. to get him. But imagine he was there on his own. He would have froze to death. He went. He went to the neck. No, it was. Whoa. We thought it was like, uh, like to, you can stand up. He was like this, holding on to, Yo, the, to the sticks. Because if you fall into freezing water, yeah. your body like paralyzes. Yeah, because you can't. You dead as hypothermia. Hi- yeah, you get hypothermia because you freeze. It's fucked, man. That's crazy. But th- those signs are there for a reason. So, like, even though you're, like, a traveler, like, be careful, like, where you go. Yeah. It's fucked. Damn, I really want to go on an adventure now. That's what I'm saying, No, Like, we travel, fam. <laughs> I want to go on an adventure. I, I definitely want to do, like, a like a treasure hunt. Mm, that would be sick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Loki, like, if we made a treasure hunt around the world and we, we said, oh, yeah, you have to... We'll give you these tickets and you just go around the world. That could make hella money. Like, that's... No, I had, I had a business idea like that, yeah. actually. Yeah. And when I was in Bahamas, like, yeah. yo, there's some islands like you can buy yeah. and it's not like, for example, Mr. BC bought an island. Yeah, yeah. It's not that crazy of a purchase. I think you can buy an island for a million dollars. Yeah. Like certain islands, like small islands in the middle of nowhere, blah, yeah. blah. But if you were to make that whole island into a, a treasure. treasure, into a treasure with clues, with yeah. like steps you have to do, riddles, everything, fucking the whole shebang, right? Uh-huh. Damn, bro. That would pull in a lot of tourism. Hundred. If that's you, that's some kid shit too. Like mm. it will it will bring out your inner childhood. Yeah. How long do you think it takes until they make Jeffrey Epstein's island a mm. tourism spot? Uh I don't think they will ever. You don't think they ever will? No. I think they will eventually. I actually now I'm thinking that they made like the Holocaust a tourist spot. Mm. So and that's way worse. I hundred percent way worse than Jeffrey Epstein. But so did I tell you about that? Um, there's this place in the states. It's like a big triangle, and then these two girls. Bermuda? They went there. Bermuda? No, 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 no. What is it? It's I don't know what it is. It's just like a weird, I guess, land monument that okay. these 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 couples made. Yeah. I think it might even be like a mini pyramid too. Mm. There's a mini pyramid in the middle, and it's just like a big, big, big monument in the middle of like a field and shit. Okay. But I don't know what they say it is. I forgot exactly. Mm-hmm. But these two girls went to go and go check it out. And like, oh, what's the history around this? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. Now, at the end of their tour, the lady tells them, come to the middle. Okay. Now, you guys have to sign this uh, certificate that you finished. Oh. And just sign it. Sign right here. The and then the girls go like, sign? What do you mean sign? 
Like, no, you have to sign this because like it, it's a, it's the end of the tour. Yay! <laughs> like, sign sign your thing, sign yeah. your certificate. Uh -huh. And they're like, nah, we're not signing shit. Right? The lady starts getting violent. Holy shit. It's like, no, you have to sign it. Like, you have to sign it, right? Mm, yeah. Now, I don't know what they did to get away, but they got away. Mm -hmm. But these girls were ta talking about it on a podcast and they pretty much said, like, it felt almost ritualistic because the whole place was kind of built in a shape of something mm. irregular. Yeah, They're in the middle of a fucking pyramid. Mm. There's symbolism there that seemed kind of like ritualistic. Fuck. What if they signed it? What would happen? Probably fucking, they probably signed their life away. They would probably like either get poisoned or died. And they got away. What do you think? What do you think would happen? I don't know, fam. Like maybe, maybe you sell their soul. Who knows? What the fuck? Who knows? Yeah, that's kind of weird. But imagine that. Like it's, it's, it's shown as like a, a tourist spot. Yeah. But they turn it into something else, you know? Mm. Or it is something else. Yeah. I think they turned this... There was some uh, lady called the Toxic Lady. Mm -hmm. And I think they made her whole story into like a whole tourist spot too. No so, way. So like um, uh, one, one lady, I think her name was uh, Gloria Rodriguez. Yeah. So long story short, she called the 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 hospital and said she had really bad chest pains right mm. and then um so the hospital the emts came to her house uh rushed her to the hospital and then as soon as they went to the hospital that's when shit got weird yeah because as soon as they took the blood sample from her every everybody like that was working on her fainted oh shit what the fuck so that's why she's called like the toxic lady so i think it was 23 out of the 37 workers yeah. either passed out, got liver damage, got wait, lung wait, damage. Getting blood from her? No, it was it was the blood and the fumes that was coming out of her body. Whoa. What yeah. The fuck? And she, taken she only got called because she had chest pain. Yeah. Right? So every no, no one knew what was going on, but doctor's bones were decomposing just by standing next Damn. to her. Take that in. That's why the toxic lady, bro. Damn, this girl's like kryptonite. Yeah, and then I think people were like at the hospital trying to trying to look in and like yeah. and like, oh, let me see if, if my liver gets damaged if I stand next to her. Holy shit. You know what I mean? Is she still there? Wait, what? No, no. They they uh you know uh when you, you get in quarantine and they put like something over you? Yeah. So they they put something over her and like I think that's when they like did surgery. So, on her. Oh wait, so she's dead. I think so, I think so. Oh, I was gonna say like she's still alive. And, no, like, no. <laughs> she's like, and then she's sitting in a spot like this. Like, let's see. Yeah, it's like yellow shit coming out of her body. She's like, yo. No, nah, that's fucked. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Nah, cause I think I think it's a little bit like unethical to turn somebody into like amusement. Hundred. But you know P. T. Barnum? No, who's that? He's the guy that made um it's it's the greatest showman. I don't know if oh, you Oh yeah, yeah, the greatest showman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the the movie The Greatest Showman. Mm -hmm. P. T. Barnum, he's the 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 showman, mm -hmm. the circus pretty much owner. Yeah, yeah. He created the show, this and that. Now, do you think it's ethical for him to for what he did, like he grabbed a bunch of weird looking people and used them for money. Uh, I mean, it's not ethical, but it is a circus. Like people want to see irregular things and yeah. that's irregular. And if they, if the people that were like weirdly looking had consent, like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'll do it. Then, then go by all means. Mm -hmm. If they were, if he was paying them, right? Yeah, go. Cause I have, I have like two sides to it. I, I see the creative side yeah, and the, the creative side of like these people, shit they can't get jobs anywhere else i'm gonna give them a job yeah. and then we can make money like this and it's creative like mm -hmm. it's different yeah that's one side of it the other side of it is like he's literally profiting off of their misery or at least like but who knows if it was misery if you were quote unquote like yeah. a carny and then you're just you know yeah. a show like you, you, you people just look at you and go whoa yeah you probably what? if you if you did if you didn't like get a job in the real world and that's the only thing you could do yeah i would do it you know what I mean? Because that's the only way I'm getting paid. Would you paid. feel good about it? Probably not. Would you feel better like if you didn't do it? I don't know. I feel it's like, because when we were at the zoo too, I was like, damn, like animals really just stand there the whole day and people look at them. Like, I wonder like what they actually feel. Like, damn, mm. why is this Why is this person looking at me like this? You it's true. I mean? It's true. I love the zoo though. I know, but it's like at the same time, free the guys, man. Like, like I that know. sucks. That's why I want to go to like... That's what I'm saying. Like, I want to go to Kenya. And I want to go yeah. like on safaris because I want to see the difference. Yeah, in the old like wild wildlife in in the wildlife. Yeah. You know, it's, like, <laughs> it's definitely different, fam. Wildlife living a wild life, not wildlife in enclosures and shit, in like a, in like a box. Like, like that's kind of fucked. But I think like Kenya is definitely way more dangerous. Like the, the zoo is like 
good to see animals because they're not gonna come out and attack you. Oh, the lion will be beside yeah. you. <laughs> the lion will lick your toe, fam. That's what I'm saying. It's not good. Like <laughs> that's scary. I seen this one. Um, I don't know if it was in Guinness World uh -huh. or like Ripley's or whatever. Uh -huh. But there's there's dead ass safaris in one of those like glass things. Uh -huh. They put fresh meat on top of your cart. Oh, and you drive? Yeah, they drive it, <laughs> and then the lions like come through and shit. Imagine, <laughs> holy shit! Wait, has, how many people have died doing that? I don't think people died. I think it's just it's just like there's bulletproof glass. You oh, know what okay, I'm saying? okay. And then they're just driving the lions like eat the meat. That's kind of sick. I go like that's kind of sick. In, in the equivalent though, isn't that just like you know the the sushi body thing? What the body sushi? You ever hear about that? No, I've never, what is that body? You don't know sushi? what that is? No. So there's like this whole it's a rich thing. Uh -huh. Like rich people do this. They hire naked women to put sushi on their body. Yeah. And like eat her off their body the fuck? at buffet, like a buffet style type shit. Ew. So like, let's say you have a, I know some rapper had like a listening party and they had it. So a bunch of like naked women and then sushi on top of their body and then you eat it. What the fuck? Yeah, it's a you, thing. You know the, the Filipino kam kamayan? Yeah. Are they, like, the That's man? not the same, bro. That's not the same. Relax. <laughs> I was going to say, imagine. Hold on. I'm, let me show you a picture of it. Imagine, it's interesting. Imagine there was a collab. <laughs> Ew, ew, <laughs> ew, like this, ew. <laughs> Kamayan X naked woman. I feel like that's so gross though. Like I wouldn't want to eat off someone's body no, like that. No, that's definitely, that's definitely elite shit. It, Cause it's like, you have, you have so much it's money. It's definitely like a kink, right? <laughs> yeah. It has to be. Cause you have so much money. Like what, might as well do that. You feel me? Let's see. Body sushi. Look at this. I don't want to look at it, bro. <laughs> it's called Nat Nato Mori. Okay, Nat Nato Mori. Oh, this is, ew. See, look, this is a thing. What the fuck? Yeah, but only like elite people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it costs enough for for some. Then ask though, if I could be a a, a sushi body model, <laughs> that's not bad, fam. Yeah, I was gonna say for you, pay me nice, shit. You know, you know what I'm saying? Body. No, think about it. Yo, think ahead. Think ahead. Look, if you're a sushi body model, uh -huh. you're not really working. You, all you're doing is like, you can sleep <laughs> probably. I don't know if you're allowed to sleep, but you can probably just like stand still, sleep oh, with your eyes nah, open. If people are touching you, fam, you're probably not sleeping during the day. Okay, you're probably not sleeping. <laughs> but you think about it, it's good for networking. What? <laughs> Hear me out. Look, you're, gonna be you're like invited. You're invited to elite ass parties. Oh. At some point, you're gonna finish your job and no, get up. No, they're degrading you. I go like. Nah, you're like. You're not talking to, to no naked model on the table. Facts. No, nah, but there's gonna be that one celebrity or elite person that goes. Hey, yo, can you say something? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Let it talk to you at least at the end. Yeah. Or if you're just chilling afterwards and then, you know what I mean, off your shift and you, you're, in the, you're in the mix. Yeah, that's definitely thinking outside the box. It's smart, bro. Because I remember there was this millionaire. Mm -hmm. I forgot who it was. But every single time they want to go out to a bar, mm -hmm. they would go alone at specific like high-end hotels and like resorts. Yeah. But not for a drink. Why? Bro would order like a, a ginger ale to make it look like alcohol. Okay. And he would just sit at the bar and just talk to the people there. Mm. And he did it for what? Networking. For business, networking. Yeah. And he got everybody's connections. And the people he was networking with were rich ass people, fam. Yeah. Now, my, um, my uncle, he has a friend, I think, or like a client. Mm -hmm. And he's an Uber driver. Okay. Oh. But... But he's he's an Uber driver, not because he wants to make money off Uber. He's Why to talk to people like network? Because he's he's selling his he's selling his um his business, and he I think he's a real estate agent or something with like real estate. Yeah, yeah. But he's just selling his business, Word. so he drives Uber for the conversations with rich Yo. people, and specifically plants himself in rich areas, in rich oh. just so he can get. You know what I mean? The clients in only those rich areas. Nah, and you're making money while you do it? Mm -hmm. That's kind of crazy. Think ahead, fam. Yeah. Think ahead. Damn. If you're a girl, bro, like low key, the service industry is perfect for you. Yeah. And in the same sense, like you should do those service industry jobs in places of like high status yeah, or yeah. in places where you might get shit. If let's say you're an aspiring actress uh -huh. in places that those type of people in that industry would be around. Where? I mean, Nah, sometimes you gotta finesse like that though. Mm, Cause if you could get the intel or like the insight of let's say let's say you know a billionaire or like a group of billionaires, yeah. but their secret like I don't know their secret um hobby is to go play airsoft, mm. and you know they only come at a certain time. You go at that time. You should go at that time, play yeah. with them, hang out with them, blah blah blah. Shit, in the same sense like tennis, whatever it may be, 
put yourself in that position. And I think that's why people play golf. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't really play it because it's fun. Yeah. They play for the networking and, like, the conversation. No, real shit. Because it's like, even if you're broke, say you're broke, but mm -hmm. you're, all your friends are millionaires. To me, you're still a millionaire. To me, you're not broke. Because it's like, a millionaire sometimes, like, has so much money that... They're so helpful and like they'll put you on at one point. Yeah, if facts, you ask, facts. you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's like you're like the 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 quote is real. Your net worth, your net worth is your net work. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. Is is literally just um, and we say it so much, but whatever whatever you're around is is dead ass what you become and what you'll continue to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like if if I'm always chilling, what am I gonna be? Chilling, chilling yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, Straight. Like, that's what I'm saying, and it, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. Like, if I want to have a purposeful life, I'm gonna make every single thing in my life what purposeful. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm doing a hobby, it's a hobby to get these skills out of. Mm. If I'm chilling here, I'm chilling here for relaxation, so I have rest for this project. You know what I mean? Other stuff, because a lot of the time, bro, at some point we get caught in a non-purposeful rut yeah and you're just doing shit that's like non-purposeful like yeah just you know what i mean just yeah, like yeah, yeah doing just doing i think you threaded that too you said something about like don't let don't make uh others other people's comfortability make you complacent or some shit like that. yeah you, yeah, you yeah. Said some shit like that, but but that's facts though. Mm -hmm. it's like damn because even though even though everybody that, that's the thing like let's say let's say you're in a room yeah and everybody tells you Yo, be comfortable, be comfortable. We're all we're all comfortable here. Mm. But you're not. Yeah, yeah. And you're like, nah, I wanna go do something. I wanna go do something. But everybody's telling you because, nah, bro, like be comfortable. Yeah. Mm. Then what are you gonna be? A you lie, bro. Well, when I need motivation, I go straight to um the Kanye West documentary. Mm. Cause he was the he was going out everywhere just trying to promote himself. Like yeah. whenever I need like thing, like any motivation, straight to that, I, I'm on my I'm on back of my job. You know mm. what I mean? And and I think I think that's why um we talked about this where uh, like people in history. Yeah. That's why he's gonna be go. He's gonna go down in history because, not necessarily for everything he's done, yeah. but because it was documented. Facts. I don't. Yo, I because don't. Because it was documented. That's the crazy thing. Like you having a friend that believes in your vision so crazy that he drops everything, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the day, Cootie got paid how much for that documentary? Like it, it was all worth it at the end. Yeah. But you know, you don't know that when you start. Yeah, you don't. You feel me? It's so crazy. Like you don't know. That's that's the. Faith you gotta yeah, have that's though. Faith, yeah. My best, my best um thread. It was just a recent one. <laughs> let me let me say my best oh, yeah, thread the, right the now. Vision? No, 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 not that one. Oh, there's a new one. Damn. There's a new one. So I said, manifestation is having faith in yourself. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Manifestation, having faith in yourself. Having faith in yourself is having faith in God, because mm -hmm. God created you. So you have to have faith in what He created. He created, yeah. Oh, that's a bar. Feel me? It's a bar. So manifestation. That's believing in yourself. You have faith in yourself. Yeah. Having faith in yourself is having faith in God because who created, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. have faith. Because God, God did the hard shit. Now you just got to do the easy shit and actually just go do it. Just mm -hmm. go try. He'll lead you that way, you know? Yeah, but you have to always, like, work at it because if you're just, if you're just, like, kind of going toward it, yeah. you're not going to, you're not going to get there. Facts, bro. You got to actually make steps run fam yeah. fucking sprint towards that shit we only got what the average life is like 75 damn bro everybody's like yo i want to be successful early i want to be successful young how come i see you walking slow yeah. sprint yeah there's dumbasses that, that are millionaires at this age fam so you can do it mm -hmm. but that's the thing like you don't necessarily have to get there in a rush though but if that's what you want don't lie to yourself and be like Oh, I'm gonna do this fast. Yeah. Alright, let's see it though. You I know see, what I mean? Yeah. I seen something on TikTok too. It was like um uh somebody graduated at twenty uh twenty-four but got their first job at like thirty. Mm -hmm. And then somebody got like was a millionaire at twenty-five and something like that. But blah blah blah. Long story short, like everyone's on their own time zone. Like you you don't have to follow everyone's path, you know? We we're all different. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like you know, there's no, there's no need to like look yeah. at somebody else's Real shit, like, life because what's the point? What, what are you gonna do that affects theirs? You know yeah. what I mean, you know, you affect yours. Facts. Back to the Uber thing, real quick. The uh, I, I, the craziest finesse. Yeah. I'm not obviously I'm not gonna say his name and shit, but on the way to the airport, yeah, the guy was like, "Oh, can you cancel your order and et me?" I'm like, "What?" Oh, that's and crazy. Then, and then uh, Jared was like, "Yo, don't don't, don't et him, fam." Like, I think he's trying to finesse us, but he's like, "No, no, no." 
Uber takes part of my shit. I just want to get paid full. So, mm. so uh, eat chance for me, and then I'll take you to your place, and then I get the full money. You get your ride. I was like, okay, bless. Yeah, there's some like this is an actual thing. Yeah, there's some people that wait at concerts and stuff. Yeah. That they just do. Oh yeah, in LA. Oh, my oh yeah, you saw it in LA oh too. God. They do it in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, bro, we we went out. There was the guy. I was like, "Yeah, I'll take you back to your crib. Four hundred dollars." I'm like, "Yo, chill." Yeah, this. <laughs> but at the same that. time, people will take that because there's no other cars. There's in There's no area. other cars, man. There's Max, no other cars. It's smart. Max, get your bread up, man. Yeah, like you feed 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 who's hungry. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you see people are hungry over there. Like, make make the food that they want to eat. Max, those, those That's Mexican, you make money. Those uh, Mexican people with the the hot dogs at the end of the concerts. Woo! Mm-hmm. I know you guys make bang. There was um. When I was in Hawaii, there's this like Filipino lady. Oh yeah, she's carrying like a box of a whole bunch of food. Oh, that's and lit. taking this on the beach, right? She's not necessarily. I don't think she's allowed to do it. <laughs> she does it anyways. Her hustle. Mm. She has a whole bunch of food. She's selling pancit, fam. Ten dollars everywhere. Ten dollars for one thing, right? Uh-huh. Well, you bag it like. If you want to get food, you have to drive what yeah. thirty minutes, twenty minutes, or wherever, <laughs> freezing your food. Mm-hmm. But it's right there. Wait, is is it one of those ones where she can't go in the island, so she has to stay on the water? Nah. Okay. In Jamaica, you can't you can't go on the island. If if you're selling stuff, you can't go on the island. You have to stay in the water. Word. So you you get a raft with a bunch of fruits. Ten dollars, ten dollars, come in the Word. water. Word. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. It's That's interesting. Crazy. That's an interesting law. Yeah. So they can sell stuff out of the water. But if you're on a resort, you can't go into the resort. So, but the mm. water doesn't count as a resort. No, yeah, so, serious? so every day they, they come in, they do the little shift. Oh, you want ganja? You want you want fruits? I bet, and then you're out. They sell ganja too, fam. Yeah, obviously, everyone wants to smoke. Weed That's, in Jamaica. Crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. I didn't it, know it's yeah, like that in the, Jamaica. But the, but the locals, like, they're on their hustle. You can really tell a man's hustle, like in in third world countries, because mm. they're doing their shit. They're like, whatever you think you couldn't think of, they're doing there. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I don't know. When I was in Bahamas, I didn't like the vibes too much because it felt very hustled. Oh yeah, feel like everything's just a hustle. There. Yeah, like nobody really cares about you. Like you know, just give me more money. Maybe you're just in the wrong part, like the tourist part. Mm. Really, even at the even because I went to like a kind of quieter island. Yeah, and there were when you're a tourist, you're a tourist. Feel me? Like you're just gonna you're just gonna end up being sold. Yeah, stuff. That's kind of crazy. Everybody kind of treats you different. I don't know, mm-hmm. but it's like that's what it is, and you can't disrespect it. That that's life. That's life. Yeah. At the at the in Paris, the attention pickpocket. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, when the, when someone sees a pickpocket, they'll they'll be like, everyone attention, and everybody will look, and like, everybody looks at them. Ah, yeah. the guys like fuck. <laughs> they do that shit. Yeah, on the train, obviously. You're gonna That's warn crazy. Yeah. So everybody just looks at me, just stands there. Yeah, and you have to like face it. You have to hug it. Damn. Yeah, which sucks because you got caught. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Holy shit! Don't be a pickpocket. I know, man. All right, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Jumper Zone Podcast. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you go to Spotify, Apple Podcasts, download the episodes, man. We love you guys, man. Also, go check out my other channel, link in the description below, mm-hmm. at Carlos Wico Channel, Jumper Zone, out. Deuces.